Peace everyone, Unmask Art here, and welcome back once again for day eight of Inktober. Uh, today's prompt is crooked, and I've got another fun little story uh, planned out for you. Now, this one's not going to be as a, as, as a secret reveal as the yesterday's was. After I finished streaming yesterday and realized that uh, it was two and a half hours long, I was like, no, I'm sorry can't do two and a half hour streams again. Um, maybe one day, but goodness gracious, uh, it is taking a lot out of me to do streams every day. And if I were to do a two and a half hour one every day, I don't know if I'd be able to keep up. But before we get into drawing, uh, let me say hello really quick to uh, uh, Kalia, Bianca, Gihan, Cece. Uh, uh, Wendy, Steve, hello everybody. Let's go ahead and have a look at some of the fan art for Inktober that you guys sent me. So here's Ankush's uh, angel, kind of guardian angel type warrior. I really like that one. Uh, here's Fine Art Anna. This is her shy piece. See the little nugget off to the side of the, the bunny there? Uh, let's see, the next one is another one by Far Fine Art Anna. This is her prompt today. This is her crooked. It's kind of like a person being turned into a tree kind of thing with a bunch of butterflies. Love it. Uh, Bianca, here's yours that you uh, sent me just a while ago. Very lovely. Uh, Angel, this is her snake. I, I think she did this one for poison. I'm not 100% certain. Maybe maybe it was for long, but I'm not sure. Um, here's another one for, from Bethany. You can see the uh, little nugget crawling on top of the top stone there. Uh, here's one from Mandy. I absolutely loved this one. You can see nugget there curl up behind the mushroom with little tidbit beside him. And here's Brenda. She did my my unmask logo with a little nugget crawling on top of my head. That one made me laugh. Uh, this one Abigail did. I absolutely love the green. It makes everything pop off the page. And you can see a little nugget crawling on the bottom there. And then here's one from Courtney. She did this one was for uh, sword, I think. And uh, she has a bunch of words that are like insult on the blade. It was really cool. And here's one, uh, another one from Fine Art Anna. Uh, I, I haven't shared hers in a couple days, and this is from her long prompt. And that's it for the fan drawings. So again, if you want to submit your drawing, the link is in the description. So just message me over on Facebook, and I will share those uh, on the next live stream. Thank you so much. Uh, hello, Wicked Illusions. Hello, Christy. Um, Brenda on Kush, welcome to the live stream. Uh, if you guys don't mind, go ahead and give the live stream uh, a, a little love and give it a share on social media so we can get as many people over here as possible. Uh, I don't think a day has gone by that I haven't gotten a comment after live streaming, somebody saying, oh darn it, I missed it. So uh, let's, try to get, let's try to get those people uh, from missing it and invite them over to the live stream. So I did a little bit more pre uh, prepping uh, for this one today because yesterday's took so long. Uh, but actually, I started working on this one at about 8.30 this morning. I started planning it out, uh, doing the, digitals, the digital stuff again, just like I did on yesterday's. And uh, this idea... This idea came to me late last night, so I didn't wake up with this idea because uh, today's prompt, like I said, is crooked. And uh, the only idea that I could come up with for this prompt was to draw a, a really, really decorative um, frame, a picture frame. And I was just going to draw it crooked on the page. and. Uh, the more I thought about it, the more I hated it, the idea. So I refused to settle on it. And uh, I was just racking my brain for the past two days, trying to come up with something better than that. And then I came up with this, uh, this little story here that I'm going to share you. 
And uh, I've been I've been laughing at this story all day today because uh, it is just so funny. And it's like I said, I'm not going to reveal it um, as as painfully as I did for yesterday's live stream. Uh, you're gonna get the you're gonna get the story a little bit uh, quicker here. Um, it's it's yeah, it's, nothing's hidden for this for this one. Uh, but uh, once it's all done and you see it all together, you're just gonna laugh about it because it's so funny and over the top. You know how you know how manga is. It's always over the top, and uh, that's that's what I went for on this one. So I hope that you guys enjoy it and enjoy the process of watching me ink it. Um, I decided to do the borders. I, I went ahead and inked the borders right before the live stream, and I did that because it's like really, it's really boring to watch. And it's really hard for me to concentrate when I'm trying to use a ruler and be really precise and stuff. And so I went ahead and did the borders before the live stream just so that I could have them out of the way. I mean, who who's really going to complain about missing me draw lines, okay? So I went ahead and uh, spared you guys that... Uh, that unpleasant time frame of, of line drawing. Now, I, I'm still gonna have a ton of lines that I have to draw uh, with the ruler, but uh, not the borders. The other lines that I gotta draw are a, a, more of the picture itself, so I didn't want to, I didn't wanna do too much off camera because then it wouldn't make sense to live stream it, you know? All right, let's try to get these blushes. These are kind of hard because I need to make the lines really thin by just barely touching the paper. There, that is a, that is tough to do. Uh, let me see who else came. Uh, Shira, welcome. Uh, Renate and Silvern, hello. Good morning to, to everybody. Uh, you did Batman Joker. That's that's a cool one. Um, Uh, completely left my three off. My three. Your three. Did I miss something in your picture, Wendy? Your three. I'm trying to. Th I'm trying to think of what. What you mean by that? Um, I I did I did try to make maximize the size of the picture, so maybe I did accidentally cut something off. I apologize. All right, another really thin line. Um, that's one thing I keep struggling with uh, the past past couple days. Now that I'm doing these kind of uh, manga uh, line art things, I don't even I don't even know what to call it. I really don't. These comic book or these uh, manga scenes. Um, I I need my I need a finer pen because there's so much detail that I can't get it all. Uh, even with this, this 0.25, this 0.25 millimeter pen still draws lines that are way too thick. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna use a ruler for my hammer here. You can see the second frame a little bit. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to keep uh, most of the story as much of a secret as I can uh, before you guys figure it out. Hello, Bridget. Oh, did I did I miss a few of your uh, other artworks, Wendy? I will um, 
I will double check. Uh, I'll, I'll double check your messages. I, I had a lot of things I was doing today. I'm, I apologize if I missed a few of them, but I'll, I'll add them to tomorrow if, if I missed them. I didn't, I didn't mean to do that if I did. Yeah, I, I it's, uh, the Facebook Messenger, I've been getting so many messages, it's, it's actually been kind of difficult to keep track of, of whose pictures are where, and, uh, honestly, it's probably not the, the, the most ideal way to collect all your guys' pictures. Um, so if I, if I ever miss them, I, I apologize. I'll try to uh, try to be a bit more conscientious of the pictures you guys send me, because I, I don't want to I don't want to miss out on them. I don't want anybody else to miss out on them. No live borderline drawing. That's what I came for. <laughs> yeah. Hello, uh, Storm. Hello, uh, Anastasia. Welcome to the live stream. Yeah, this this one is going to be... I don't know. It's going to be hard to beat yesterday's, to be honest with you. But um, to be... Uh, I was actually... I was laughing. I was laughing at this one uh, a bit more. A bit more than I was laughing at yesterday's, so that's a good sign, uh, because the the full the full scale of this one might be just a tad bit more funny than uh, yesterday's. So I hope you guys I hope you guys like it. I I kind of hinted to what I'd be drawing uh, over on Facebook. I, I posted kind of a, a cryptic post about what, uh, what I'd be drawing today. I've been, I've been really enjoying uh, all your guys' uh, slugs in your, um, your Inktober pieces. It, uh, some of them are just too adorable. Oh, Wendy, now I know which piece I forgot. Oh, gosh darn it. I know which one. Yeah, your slugs, they were so adorable, too. I just realized. Um, because I had collected the photos. I had collected the photos and prepared them for the live stream maybe 20 minutes before you sent me your picture. That's why I don't have it. Yeah, I knew there was... I, I was like... Which one did I forget? And now I remember. Okay. Well, that one's definitely going up tomorrow for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I. Yeah. I totally. I totally spaced out on that. Um, uh, Anna. Anna and her mom made like the most fantastic dinner in the whole wide world. It was amazing. Um, I got to eat right before I started live streaming, which was a, a relief because I was working all day and I totally forgot to eat. Um, but she, uh, they made kluski, uh, pierogi, um, bruselki, and I, I'm, I jumped out there for a minute to make some gravy. But uh, gosh, it was so fantastic. And there's there's now two apple crumble cakes waiting for uh, us to eat in the kitchen. We even have ice cream. It's just ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I, I feel like I feel like I'm eating enough to uh, potentially go into hibernation this winter. Uh, thank you, uh, Shayna. I hope that's how you pronounce your name. I am glad you like my art. Oh, you're welcome, Melinda. I really, really liked it. Yeah.
Yeah, uh, yes, it's about to be a crooked nail. <laughs> Just, just wait until you wait until you see the rest of it on Kush. You're, you're, you're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. Oh, hello, Anna. I'm glad you were able to make it to the stream. Hello, Carter. Uh, yes, I love pierogi too. It, they're so delicious. Um, of course, uh, we make our own. We make, we make our own pierogi. I make the dough. Uh, my wife makes the filling. And uh, we make it all fresh, so we, um, yeah, we 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 love our pierogi. We we only eat we only really eat it in the cold months of the year. So uh, we we haven't eaten any of it all summer. So this was actually the first time we've eaten it this year. So uh, really really good, or this season I should say. How's my weekend been going? Uh, it's been going really good. Uh, definitely staying busy with all this Inktober stuff. Um, but uh, I've been super enjoying it. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying watching me go through this painful process of, of drawing all this um, and live streaming it, it. It wouldn't be as painful if I was just drawing it, you know, because... Um, I would just work at my own pace or whatever, and uh, I wouldn't have to stop for the sake of for the sake of kind of kind of getting it ready to live stream. Because honestly, these these pieces take me like really long. Because this is the so this will be my second manga page that I've ever created, really, and. Um, so I'm I'm this is learning for me. You guys are experiencing this as a first and um, Yeah, so I have a lot to learn as far as doing this kind of stuff and uh, For this one I did pull together a few references so that I could create the scenes the way that I wanted that I really wanted to, to make and um, I mean I designed these these scenes, but I used Kind of things to make it look a little bit more like, um, like real manga, like actual manga book. So I, I have some, I have some little tidbits, if you want to say, um, of things that I'm going to be adding, just to make it look even more official, more official manga page type thing. I'm going to use a little bit of marker. I'm going to do one scene at a time, so um, uh, before I move on to the next scene, I'm going to do, I'm going to finish this one 100%, and then I'm going to move on to the next scene, and then, um, and then I'll move on to the last scene, I guess, because I was thinking I could finish this scene, finish the second scene, uh, and then add the words. Because there's actually no words in the third scene, it's just all picture uh, for you to kind of get uh, a good idea as to what the the finishing result. Um, but yeah, this this one came to me last night, like I said, and uh, coming up with it this morning had me just laughing because I was sitting here and every time I just took a step back to see what I was to see where I was at I just started laughing because it's it's so ridiculous it's so ridiculous it just either it's ridiculous or I'm ridiculous or a mixture of both because I'm sitting here laughing at myself uh, based on what I'm drawing but um, I think you guys are really gonna like it. I, I have a lot to live up for uh, to make a to to even come close to matching to uh, yesterday's drawing. Uh, can I make the hammer go crooked? Uh, the hammer's not gonna go crooked, but uh, yeah, you're, you're gonna you'll see what happens here. You'll see what happens. Just uh, bear with me a little bit. Uh, 
Oh, tomorrow's school. Probably get behind on Inktober. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, um, uh, this Wednesday, I start classes as well, and uh, the, for the following weeks, I will have class every Monday and Wednesday. Uh, in my evenings, uh, for those of you uh, that don't know, I'm, I'm going to be taking Polish class so that I can finally start talking in Polish. And um, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a, a huge challenge to take on in the middle of Inktober. Um, I mean, it's going to be hard enough learning the language, but uh, to do it in the middle of Inktober is going to just make it that much more difficult for me. <clears throat> All right. Um, let's see. Where's the cap? Oh, tomorrow's prompt is Screech, that's right. Yeah, that one I already have planned. The, the nail goes through to the head below, <laughs> yeah. Uh, why did I pick Polish language to study? Because I, I live in Poland, like Carter, like Carter said, yeah. I, I, I live in Poland and I think that um, yeah, I think that it's it's about time that I I really put in the effort to learn the language. Uh, I've lived here for a year now, and although I I can understand the language, like I can hear it and res somewhat respond, and um, definitely in context I understand the language. So my listening comprehension is really good, uh, but I can't speak it. So. Yeah, I have uh, I have a lot to learn there. Let's see. I'm gonna shade a shade the hammer a little bit. the right one yeah thicken thicken the lines a bit bring out the wider pen yeah there we go I think that's good add a little bit of wood grain down here Yeah, I think that's I think that's good. And I'll use um, trying to find it. I'm going to just shade him a little bit. And darken his hair. I th yeah, I think I need to darken his hair. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that when I was drawing this. That I should probably. Yeah, I'm going to make his hair kind of dark gray. That way, it just stands off the page a little bit better. At least in this scene here. I didn't I honestly didn't even think about if what happens if I start shading and coloring stuff in 
uh, because this part I didn't plan out. I did not plan on coloring his hair. Um, I didn't even plan on shading him, to be honest with you. So that was kind of a spur of the moment decision there. There, I think, yeah, I think that's good. I, I don't wanna do too much to him as I continue to shade him. Um, shade his hand down here, there. That's that's better. Um, oh, did I miss something? Uh, best friend is Polish. You're German. Oh, you gotta go first day back to school. Oh, okay, Carter. Will you take care? Um, hello, Elise. Welcome. Glad to see you here. All right, so I think that's, that, yeah, that, I'm gonna leave the words out. Oh, actually, you know what I need to do? I need to thicken that. Um, I think I'm gonna use, yes, yeah. I wanna make the, the uh, speech bubble a bit wider. That's, I think that's good. All right, scene one is officially complete. Yeah, there is scene one. All right, now on to scene two. Yeah, okay. Let's do the initial inking here. get his eyes. I like to get his eyes first. Hello cuteness, you want to come say hello? No. <laughs> come I say hi. This. <laughs> no. My wife just came in, she said hi. Kohanya, do you know what stad, stada boba means? Stada boba? Right here. Last line. Jeez, I love this. You're not on camera, you're not even close. That's good. She's, she said she's a mess, she doesn't want to show her face. <laughs> It's nothing in Polish. Where is it from? I don't know. No, she doesn't. She doesn't know what it means. Maybe it means misspelled or whatever. She misspelled. She said maybe it's misspelled because if it's if it's not Polish, I don't. She doesn't know what it is. And I know Polish. <laughs> and she pretends to know Polish. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, what did I miss? Um, am I gonna make you figure out the storyline again? No, no, it's not a secret storyline. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to keep it from being fully revealed just now, so that you guys, it builds up a little bit. But um, yeah, it's don't worry, it's 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 funny, it's funny. Um, Uh, yes, thank you for saying hello to, to my wife. <laughs> uh, you've never seen Mrs. Unmasked before? Well, we've done a few live streams together. You can uh, check those out. We, we usually do a live stream every month 
first Saturday of every month, but for Inktober, I don't think we're going to be. I'll, I'll let her know, Anna, that uh, you, you apologize for taking me away every day to do Inktober. It's been okay, though. It's been okay. I mean, our weekends... Uh, our weekends are really short together now because I'm working all day, literally every day. But she's been spending time with her mom, so it's, it's not that bad. I, I noticed a few of you guessing what's happening, um, but don't worry, everybody's fine. Nobody, no, no slugs were injured in the making of this, uh, of this story, so don't worry. Oh, hello, Coffee Cat. I was hoping that you were gonna make it today. I, I didn't see you yesterday, and I thought that you would really appreciate the, uh, the last couple, uh, Inktobers that I've done since you're into the the manga stuff, um, and I was I was hoping for your um, input or your your perspective on on my my manga style here, <laughs> since I don't really do it. I mean, I I always draw this this type of style, but I I never actually put stories together. I just make characters. Trying to make sure I keep it in frame for you guys. Oh, hello, Mara. Question for Anna, actually both of you. Uh, am I familiar with the Polish artist? No. <laughs> uh, asking because we're all on DA, so curious if you know her. No. Uh, I'm not familiar with her at all. Oh no, don't worry, Nugget. Nugget is perfectly fine here. Nugget, Nugget's gonna survive another day, I can assure you. He's not going anywhere. It's so hard, it's so hard keeping the picture in frame <laughs> without revealing too much. I want to try my best to get the second scene here uh, completely done before moving on to the, the third and final scene. That way, uh, not too much is revealed. But I, I'm going to do the words for scene one and scene two uh, before moving on to the third and final scene. And then I'll let you guys uh, fully appreciate the uh, situation that our little slug nugget friend is going through. There. I gotta, I gotta kind of put it in frame awkwardly a little bit, but uh, bear with me. <clears throat> Nugget will live forever, yes. Yeah, the, the nugget is immortal. Uh, 
All right, uh, this one's tough. This one's uh, a tough curve to do on camera. There we go. I managed it somehow. Getting getting those smooth inked lines is just so hard sometimes. There. Now let's uh, work on his mouth here. His mouth is difficult. Uh, you have a feeling the nugget and tidbit will show up in my art again? Well, I hope so, Mandy. <laughs> I really liked yours. Uh, is he like a villain and trying to kill someone with a hammer and then nugget the hero swoops in and saves then with a crooked magic wand? <laughs> uh, that's a good one, Bianca. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, no, that's not quite... That's, that's not what uh, what's happening. He's not a bad guy. Look, is that the face? Is that a face of a bad guy? Bad guys don't blush. Come on. Bad guys don't blush. I know he looks like a bad guy here. It will everything will be revealed once I write in the words. Once I write in the words, you'll you'll totally understand what's happening. Uh, actually when I when I fill in this bubble right here, you'll immediately know what's happening. Um, but the third scene, oh, I designed it so well. I, I have to say, I'm actually impressed with myself because the third scene is just so comical. Uh, I just, I don't even know how I did it. I'm not even, I'm not even a funny person, but, uh, somehow I, I came up with a, just the, the, the perfect scene, just absolutely perfect. You're gonna see it in pencil once I once I finally show it to you, uh, but the the lines that I'm gonna be adding, uh, kind of the the motion lines and the dramatic effect that I'll be adding to the scene will um, will take a little while to do the, all that that final kind of detail stuff. Uh, so you won't get the full effect until the very end, but uh, it will be worth the wait. Just hold on. The The reveal of this one won't obviously take nearly as long as yesterday's. All right, uh, got the hammer. Let's do the speech bubble here. Slug nugget needs a theme song, kind of like Spider-Man has, you know, like, does everything a slug can. <laughs> That's a good one, yeah. When am I going to get a show for it? You know what? I don't know. I would totally be down to work on a uh, an animated cartoon of Slug Nugget. But to be honest with you, what I, I was actually thinking about it a little bit yesterday, no lie. I was thinking... What could, what could you even make the show about? And I thought about what I am doing with it right now, as far as the um, kind of the uh, sorry, um, kind of these storyboards here. But they they stand alone. I mean, they they stand alone for what's happening in the scene but as far as like a full-on kind of character arcing storyline um, I don't know what I would do because uh, some of you some of you have given slug nugget the ability to talk in your fan art uh, you've you've given him the ability to talk, and my wife made a suggestion earlier today about this piece and said that I should make Slug Nugget saying something. Um, but I I I don't like the idea that Slug Nugget can talk. <clears throat> 
So he's he's mute. The the only way he communicates is through uh, his eyes and his mouth. So all emotion, all all nonverbal communication. Uh, that's kind of what I imagine. Oh my gosh, could I spit on my drawing anymore? I have spit all over this thing already today, just constantly. Um, I know you didn't ask, but I did. All right, I am going to, let me, yeah, I'm gonna use this one, this one's fine. I'm gonna start doing some of the kind of manga style stuff here. Now this is something that I didn't come up with originally, but I really like the way it looked. So I'm going to try to emulate a little bit of uh, the manga style here. Create these lightning bolts. I really liked the way the, the lightning bolts exemplified the uh, kind of the charged up um, motion that I'm going to be creating here. This is probably going to be the, the boring part of, of this drawing process. Uh, because now, now I need to start drawing in a bunch of lines and I'm Thing. I don't know why I just put that there. Oh, now I know. Um, yes, so I need to... Sorry, this is not going to make a lot of sense right off the bat. But... kind of charging up his hammer here. Um, <clears throat> a book for children, that would, you know, actually that's not a bad idea. You know, I've, I've, I haven't written a children's book, but I did illustrate one. Hmm, a, Adventures of Slug Nugget and Tidbit. But if I'm gonna do a children's book, it has to, it has to have some you know, deeper meaning to it, I guess. That's just, like, that's what I would have to do. I'd have to come up with some kind of, um, some kind of element of learning in the story. And, and like I said before, I don't, I don't know if I'm the best storyteller, but, um, yeah, that, that could be fun. That could be fun. All right, now what I need to do, um, this is hard to do like this. I'm gonna try to keep it like, yeah, I'm gonna try to keep it like that so you guys see as much as possible. Yeah, I didn't, knew that wasn't gonna be long enough. I have to move weirdly. Okay, I'm just gonna turn it. I'm just gonna turn it, whoa. Almost, uh, almost knocked my uh, keyboard off. I like a book, yeah. Oh, hello, Duke. You're late, but you're here. All right, I got some lines to draw now, a whole bunch of them. So bear with me. This is going to be a process.
I'm going to try to finish it up as quickly as possible without making any major mistakes. But, to be honest with you, uh, it's going to take a while regardless. Because I have to fill up this whole background with lines. I just, I, I can't, uh, I can't skip this, this step because it just looks so good. It makes the scene look so officially manga that I, I cannot, I cannot afford to, uh, to skip doing this. And I, I don't want to do it halfway either. I want full, full-fledged lines all the way. All right, now, now comes the tricky part because I need to pay attention to where where these lines are going on all sides of the drawing. Hopefully I don't end up drawing over his face. This is tricky. Oh, this was, this is so much easier to do digitally. Jeez. I'm like not even halfway done. Oh, but it's going to pay off. It's going to look so good. Uh, you're working on illustrating your first children's book now, A Pig Who Gets Lost in a Country Fair. I've been meeting with an author this week. Oh, that's really cool, Mandy. That's that's great. That's great. Uh, I illustrated a children's book last year. Was it last year? I think it was last year. Uh, yeah. But um, it, it was a, a really fun learning experience. Um, the book hasn't been published yet, unfortunately, so I haven't been able to share any of the artwork. But um, hopefully, one day it will be uh, it will be published, and because the author is just going to self-publish it, and she hasn't done that yet, but she she bought not she didn't just buy the uh, the uh, you know what I just I did I went through his hair oh well. Mistakes have been made. I went through his hair. I knew I was going to do that. I should have double checked it, but I didn't. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, she. So she paid for me to illustrate it, but she also bought all the illustrations that I did, all the originals too. So uh, it was a really, a really good. Um, Experience it was tough. It was tough to do because uh, I, I think I ended up doing 18 17 or 18 illustrations In the span of about three weeks, so it was super stressful um, But uh, definitely a learning experience. I actually made a video series here on YouTube Kind of showing you all of my process for how I illustrated um, a children's book kind of the steps that I took make the process easier altogether. Oh, you gotta leave, Bianca? Okay, well, you take care now. Thanks for coming by. Okay, gotta make sure I'm not drawing on his face now. I gotta be more careful. Still good, still good. Told you, there's a lot of lines here that I got to do, but it's. And see how cool that looks. See how awesome that looks. See, I got to keep going. Got to keep going. Just ready for my Inktober piece. Oh, that's cool, Renate. Uh, make sure you send it to me over on Facebook so I can share it with everybody tomorrow on the live stream. Oh my gosh, I left this pen open all day. I didn't even realize.
Those those stories sound really interesting, Anna. Oh no. Hopefully I didn't reveal the last scene too much. Uh, you can see his head, but that's that's nothing. That's nothing. I'm trying to make sure my ruler is straight. It's hard to make all these lines and make sure they're straight, you know? I wish that I had a ruler that was just long enough for this. I have this one, but it's it's shy, like like two centimeters too short. It also doesn't work very well with pens, but maybe I'll just do one side at a time. This might help. Yeah, I can see a little bit better. That big ruler is just too much. And I'll just, because the lines don't really have to match up, you know? Perfectly anyway. A view on crooked nail and in a room of a wedge with a crooked nose and a crooked bag. <laughs> I think I might have missed something there. Goal is just to use ink and a brush, huh? Yeah, that's and that's a challenging uh Challenging way to use ink, um, as I experienced in day one with my horse. That was that was quite a bit of a challenge. I, I wish that the paper in this sketchbook was you know a little bit a little bit better uh, because I, I can't really do that. Can't really use the ink and the brush all that much without making the paper all wrinkly, and it's it's really unfortunate. I. I I, I liked doing the horse, but it, gosh, it made my pink, the paper so wrinkly it kind of destroyed, kind of destroyed the, the piece altogether a bit. Yeah, my lines are... Uh, just a tad bit crooked. I gotta straighten them out a little bit. All right. Let me just. I'm gonna just freehand the lines over here. Because I don't think it really matters all that much. I can create reasonably straight lines, free-handed. Yeah, that's that's good enough. Let's go back over here. Finish up this side. I think one more. There we go. How cool does that look, right? Uh, 
I was going, I was doing a drawing, got frustrated, and then you deleted your message. <laughs> uh, hello, Nyawich. All right. Oh, you know what? I forgot the lines right there. I knew it looked weird. I, there was something off. There was something off. I think I can fill it in really quick. There, that's better. Um, what I need to do, what I need to do, take a minute, those lines will drive you crazy. Yeah, yeah, the lines definitely are uh, driving me a bit crazy right now. I need to do uh, some outlining, kind of bring my character off the page a little bit better. Actually, before I do that, I need to grab my eraser here real quick and pick up some of my graphite because it's starting to uh, starting to get a little smeary and also it helps my my inking come off the uh, come off a little bit better and cleaner looking once I get rid of some of that graphite see right here I kind of went through his head a little bit but that's okay because I still have um, I still have some more lines to kind of because he stands out too much, he needs to be um, shaded, and I'm going to shade him by hatching, cross hatching, and things like that. Uh, but I'm going to outline him first, make it uh, make the lines uh, nice and thick on the outer part of him. The best part about having all those lines is it. It's really good for hiding mistakes. Really, really good for hiding mistakes. Like, you, you can't even really tell that I accidentally drew inside his hair. There we go. Uh, I think that's good. Yeah, that's, that's good. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. What I'm going to do is grab this pen. I'm going to shade his face a little bit. All right, there we go. That's I think that's good. Um, and I'm just going to riskily. Cr oh no! Oh no! Did I ruin my pen? Did I ruin it? I accidentally left the cap of this pen off all day and it's ruined. It doesn't work anymore. Oh, that's so, oh my gosh, really? Come on, Faber-Castell. You gotta do better than that. Uh, come on, come on, work, work, work. It's trying, it's trying. It's almost there. Uh, I don't think it's going to work. Oh, come on. Piece of crap. I'll leave it there for now. Hopefully it will, I don't know, do something. I'll put it vertically. Put it vertically and hopefully some of the ink will come down and it will repair itself. Now you're probably wondering why am I choosing to uh, to shade him this way, and to be honest with you, the way the reason I'm doing it is because I really really like kind of the um, the the rugged the rugged look of it. So that's that's why I'm choosing to shade him this way. It just adds like um, a really good kind of. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Dramatic effect to 
to the action. So that's why I'm doing that. Use a lighter. Oh, I never thought of that before. I will, uh, I'll give that a try, thanks you. Thanks for uh, giving me that, uh, that tip. I never, I never knew that before. Of all the pins that I've uh, burnt through and probably could have repaired with a lighter. Uh, hello, Linda. Shade my hammer now. Really, really thin, skinny lines. Just creating a ton of motion here. I'm gonna darken his his arm here a bit more. And then I need to darken in his, his mouth. So I'm gonna take this and fill in, fill in the black here. go. <laughs> All right. That's, I think that's, yeah, I think that's good. Oh, I need to shade his hair. Gosh, do I want to use a marker to shade his hair though? That's the only question. His hair's got to be dark. Huh? Yeah, I think I will. And you know what? I will go ahead and also add a little bit of marker to shading uh, some of this as well. Just really lightly, so as it doesn't do too much and stand out weirdly. And then I'll just use this to color in his hair. But I'll, I'll only color in like kind of like one side of each thing. That way it looks like the light is kind of reflecting. I think that's good. I don't think this is the right marker. This is three, I think I should have used five. So that is the end of scene two. So before I get to scene three, let me go ahead and grab this pen. Um, come up here to the first.
did this. Oh, okay. No, I'm glad it didn't stop. Okay, so there is the uh, first speech bubble. Get rid of my graphite. Oh, I'm sorry. Did the, the stream pause? I must have ran into some streaming issues. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I apologize. Um, hopefully you didn't miss too much. But here is the uh, first speech bubble, if you did happen to miss that. Um, now I'm going to move to scene two. And where's my pen? I think I'm going to use... where's it at? There he is. <laughs> yeah, the, the freeze nugget, don't move. Which is literally what I'm about to write. Small suggestion, join your live stream from uh, your cell phone, keep it on the tablet so you won't have to look up often for the chats. Well, I thought about it. Um, uh, I thought about it, but most of the time I'm actually working um, with my table lifted up, so I can't really sit anything there to just look at for the chat. Uh, but I have my monitor here that I that I'm able to look at and I, I leave I keep my reference so I have a little reference thing up uh, to look at for a lot of my drawings and things like that uh, because like I said I drew all this digitally first good thing nugget doesn't have thumbs <laughs> all right so here is the third and final scene <laughs> There's there's our little nugget. There's our little nugget. See him holding the nail? <laughs> Isn't that great? This the drawing had me laughing all morning. But look at look at all the uh, look at all the bent nails. See see all the bent nails? So he's he's not too good with that hammer. All right, let's let's start the inking again. What do I do with that pen? I wonder if that pen is working now. No, not really. I'll have to heat that up later. Where's my other one? Uh, first thing, yeah, first things first. I'm going to outline these explanation marks. Sweet little sug, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I told you this one. This one had me laughing. Um, just every for all day, just all day as I was working on, I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to share this with everybody. You guys are gonna love it. The, the digital version I feel like is a little bit better because I was able to really get in here with some some details um, that I'm just not able to translate over because the pen doesn't write that teeny tiny and plus I 
I, I'm drawing it a lot smaller than it shows up in my Photoshop, so. But little, little Nugget's uh, expression was something that I put a lot of thought into to try to get his expression just right. And I can't quite, I can't quite get it as, uh, as cleanly as I'd like, um, or as, as well as I did in the, in Photoshop. But it's pretty close. Yes, he's shaking. <laughs> oh, nice, yes, nice pun, Wicked Illusion. <laughs> That's a good one. done with his head you know this uh, this perspective uh, this perspective was actually kind of a happy accident um, because I just was I was just kind of screwing around a little bit with my lines and just sketching and I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna make it look uh, and it just kind of came together so I was I was really pleased with the way that this this last scene came together. It just um, it just worked so well. This hammer is really tough. Teeny tiny little hammer. Look at his muscles. Yeah, he's 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 a carpenter, so he's he's got some he's got some muscles going on here. I was gonna put a T-shirt on him. That's how I was originally gonna draw him, but uh, I was like, nah, I don't want to draw anymore. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, keep his shirt off. Besides, most of my fans are girls anyway, so I figured you guys would appreciate that. Sorry, I'm really concentrating 
I'm, I'm going through these lines really quickly, so I apologize for being quiet. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. <sighs> yeah, everyone has at least one anime crush, yeah, I believe. I believe that's true. So is he spaghetti legs then? I don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. The fun part is the nails are bigger than our nugget. Yep, yeah. That's true. Our, our little nugget here is pretty small. I just need to I need to draw our little our little nugget here let me zoom in on him a little bit there now you guys can see him a bit better you just didn't like to draw clothes yeah you're actually right Wendy I did not want to have to deal with clothes Try to get his eyeballs the best that I can. So nice you think of the girls once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh goodness, this is hard to it's hard to to draw on the edge of this notebook. I don't want to accentuate these details too much because they're small and delicate. It's tough to do it. And I have these, I have, goodness, I have a little sweat dripping down. Our little nugget is sweating with, with fear and anticipation. He's anxious. There. I think I managed that well enough. Um, of course, he's got a little detail right there. And let's draw this nail in. There. I'm going to use the ruler to make this a little bit easier on myself. It is and over here. Perfect. All right, now I need to take wider pen. Ooh. There. I'm going to draw this curve here. And this curve over here. Um, and then I'm going to do the nail that's behind our little nugget. Because the really the only thing, the only thing at all that <laughs> pertains to the crooked is that all the previous nails that were attempted to be nailed into this board here that Nugget is sitting on 
are crooked. And that's the only thing that pertains to today's prompt, is, is all these crooked nails that you barely see. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, hello, Kim. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Um, I need to outline the Kya, his, his screaming, his exaggerated screaming. That's not thick enough. I'm gonna use this. Japanese has like 1,200 onomatopoeias, and this is just one of them. This is literally ah, like he's he's yelling. Not uh, not nugget, but the guy swinging the hammer. This is one of those things that I wanted to add to make it look more authentically manga. And I actually just used the, the, te the text tool on, um, in Photoshop and I have Japanese on my keyboard so I just uh, typed a bit of Japanese and then made the text kind of big and placed it where I wanted it and that's how I did that. You, I forgot to tell Nugget that he's the boss. Yeah, the subtlety of the crooked nails, yeah. That's that's what makes this this story just so much more entertaining. Uh, oh, I need to erase now. So, let me hopefully hopefully some of those details on Nugget here will show through a little bit better uh, erasing the the pencil. Hopefully I didn't miss anything over on my character here. Oh, I didn't. I noticed that I, I missed a little muscle line there. Alright. Not too bad. Uh, so we're actually almost done with today, but uh, if you guessed, there's a million lines that I have to draw. So let me outline... Let me outline this nail. A little bit down here. I'm gonna outline our little nugget. Nugget our slug buddy. That way he stands off the page a bit more and isn't lost in the details. There we go. Does anyone have a nugget diaper? <laughs> Let's 
So here's a, here's a quick look at it all. So there's there's kind of a, a full full view of the story, but I still have some detail to work in on the bottom here. You see his expression a little bit better. Can't get it to, can't get it to uh, focus. Yeah. Anyways, uh, getting back to the drawing here. So I need to outline my character here as well. Yeah. I need to do a bit of outlining on him. That way, he's not lost in all the details. I'm going to make the lines down here, the, the objects that are closer to you, you make the lines really thick and it creates that perspective even better. It emphasizes that perspective. Same thing with his leg. His leg is kind of coming towards us a little bit. Uh, no, you didn't. You didn't hear anybody. <laughs> oh, thank you, Coffee Cat. Yeah, yeah, Nugget. He he can't look. He's. I was gonna do his eyes closed and squinted, but I couldn't get it to look right um, for how small it is. So it it didn't quite uh, create the effect that I wanted. So I ended up just uh, kind of making him looking away and a little bit sad just a just a tad bit sad uh so this is the uh the 0.45 uh, pen that, that i'm using 0 0.4 point point four five. so a little bit bigger i was using a, a 0.25 that's the one i did the initial inking with uh, let's see I want to thicken this. Now, 0.45, not quite that big. This one here, this is a brush pen by Mangaka. All right, um, I'm gonna switch. Uh, let's see, actually, I'm gonna take do I want to? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the four five. Take my pen again, and now it's on to a bunch of lines. Once again, tons of lines. Uh, there's a there's a bunch of lines that I I'm gonna add in between here, but I'm just kind of filling it out, so I get a little bit. Uh, I, I I just feel like I get done a bit quicker. Uh, but I'm gonna leave those gaps for now. I'm gonna actually go right next to the lines, similar to how I did here, kind of space it out, um, and then bunch bunch together some lines, add a space, and just do that kind of thing.
But for the most part, the, the drawing is done. I'm just adding the final little details with these lines here. And I'll do a little bit of shading for this final scene. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's, that's, that's it. Uh, you guys know the story. You have the, uh, the scene visualized fully. So no, no, no secrets left in this drawing. Now it's just about finishing it. I, uh, let's see, did I get any? Uh, you tend to use a 0 .03, 0 .05. 0 .03? I think you mean 0 .3 and 0 .5. Unless it's a different uh, measurement, because 0 .03, I don't know if I've ever had a pencil that small, before, or a pen that small. That's a Copic 0 .03, 0 .05. I wonder what they're um, they're they're measuring from. Uh, they must be working in inches or something. Oh, sorry. I, at least you guys have some background music because <laughs> I haven't been talking much recently. I apologize for that. Trying to, trying to, I, I swear there's like two things that I can never talk doing. Using a ruler and doing digital art. Like those are the, the, the two things that I, I struggle the most carrying on a conversation with. And I, I don't I don't know what it is. Um, I, I I mean when I'm using a ruler, I want to make sure that my lines are nice and clean and straight, and I don't mess them up somehow. Uh, but for digital art, I don't know why it's the same thing with digital art. I, I imagine it's because I'm not super experienced with digital art, and uh, I have to think I have to think a lot as to like what steps I need to take or what I need to do or something along those lines. Uh, we've almost come all the way around. Almost. I still have a bunch of lines to add though. To be completely honest with you, there's still a bunch to do. So hopefully you guys are still enjoying this piece, even though uh, what I'm doing now is not the most exciting thing to watch. But you saw how much it added to that, to that scene there. I just, I have to do it. Uh, 
so if you guys have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask because, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm struggling to think of anything to say uh, because I'm, I'm so focused on using my ruler here that I can't, I can't think of anything. You gotta help. Gotta help me out here. Uh, uh, looks like I'll catch the last few minutes. Oh, that's cool, Linda. Since they are Japanese, I'm pretty sure it's from centimeters. They're super fine. Huh, that, that just seems so tiny. 0 0.03 centimeters, or millimeters, or centimeters. Oh yeah, it has to be centimeters. Uh, my micron are in millimeters, so it's it's 0.45 millimeter, which would be uh, a 0 0.045 centimeter. So that's that's what it must be. It must be written in centimeters. Yeah, yeah. Just like Ankush uh, said. Uh, for the colored pencil course, can you mix colored pencils? Yes, absolutely. Um, there's no rules. There's no rules in the colored pencil course. Um, and I go through I go through using Prismacolors uh, just for the sake of people that don't have colored pencils and they want to start. Uh, the supplies that I recommended for the course were the, uh, the set of Prismacolors. Anytime somebody is getting into coloring and they want to pick up a set of colored pencils, I always recommend uh, the Prismacolors. So that's, that's why I use them in the, in the course. But uh, the, I, uh, with the color chart and stuff, you can just use that to get, uh, um, to get whatever colors you need in any set of pencils that you're going to use. So it's yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of leeway there. Because I assumed that quite a few people that are that were going to buy the course anyway uh, was going to have their own their their own set of pencils already. So yeah, I, I didn't um, I didn't do anything that was too specific that you couldn't you couldn't mix in different sets of pencils. So feel free to mix in anything that you want. So many lines, so many lines. So you guys have to give me your opinion. Do you like today's story more than yesterday's or the same? Which, which one do you... Which one did you like more, yesterday's or today's? Because uh, to be honest, I'm kind of split. Uh, I really liked yesterday's and the way that I revealed, revealed it to everybody was a lot of fun. But um, this today's had me laughing, like I said. It had me laughing, like, all day. So it's, it's hard to choose. I think this is going to be one of the last lines. Yeah, I kind of I like that. I think that's good enough for for those background lines. I think it gets the point across, right? It gets the point across, right?
love today's and the live feed. Uh, thank you, Kim. This was uh, this was more fun, hilarious. Actually, yesterday was cool, but this has a better punch. <laughs> All right, um, I need to actually add some motion lines coming across. Oh no, I made a mess with my finger. I accidentally grabbed a bit of ink. It smeared onto my, my, my hand or my finger somewhere. Oh, right there, yeah. Oh, well, that's okay. We're good, we're good. Uh, I'm gonna create some motion on my guy here. I think I can actually freehand this. This is taking too long. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, I'm going to take my small one. Where's it at? Here we go. And cross hatch his his arm back here. and the hammer. I love the motion that the cross hatching type type shading creates. Yeah. And I'll do it I'll I'll shade some of this over here as well. I think that's good. Um, his leg, his back leg here needs needs it. And his front leg just a little bit. Just to create some motion. There. Um, and then I'm gonna create, let's see. I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna take this marker here. Fill in the wood. Cause that's what this is supposed to be, wood. And then I'm gonna use the marker, I mean the uh, pen to finish it off by, by adding the wood grain. And I'll, I'll shade our little nugget here as well with a bit of marker. Um, that way it, it brings him into the into view a little bit. Uh, also the, our nail here as well. So our, our little nugget's gonna be kind of grayed out. There we go. Also these nails. Um, and then let's just create some wood grain here.
there. I think that's good enough for wood grain. Uh, let's do another pass on our little nail in our little slug buddy. There we go. Uh, darken his mouth in. There. All right, everyone. That is it. There's the final scene. Here's the full page. Just like that. So our, our poor little nugget is scared for his life, but uh, he's, he's survived quite a few of these crooked nails already. But um, that's going to be it for today. Uh, what, just under two hours? So a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker than yesterday. Still a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully you guys had fun on the live stream. I know I, I was a little quiet there at the end. Uh, as I was drawing a bunch of lines and, and stuff. But uh, regardless, I hope that you guys had fun. Uh, I really enjoy having you here, so uh, thank you for that. Uh, for everybody that's participating in Inktober, make sure that you come over to my Facebook page and message me your Inktober pieces, and I will share it uh, on the next live stream. So I shared a few of them already today. Uh, in the beginning. So if you missed that, go back and watch those. Uh, some really good pieces that come into me. Uh, so I appreciate you guys that send me your, your, your pictures. So keep doing that. The link to my Facebook is in the description. And um, uh, tomorrow's, tomorrow's prompt, I believe, is Screech, which I already have planned. Um, and it's, it's going to be different. It's not going to be a story like this, but uh, I think it'll be fun regardless. So I hope that... Uh, um, wait, tomorrow's spooky? Am I missing something? Well, whether it's spooky or screech or banana, it just whatever. Tomorrow will be fun. Uh, so I will, I'll see you guys tomorrow for prompt number nine. So whatever that is. Um, thanks again and, uh, have a lovely evening. Take care. Peace.